With less than nine months to go until the 2020 U.S. election, there's no clear frontrunner in the Democratic primary race. But there is a newcomer vying for the White House. Unlike many candidates who have been campaigning for more than a year, this candidate is using his deep pockets to go viral in the hopes of winning votes. Reggie Cicchini explains. Hey, big spender! In politics, money is power. But in 2020, that influence doesn't just come from a checkbook. It comes from the most important currency on social media, the hashtag. And in a presidential election, the trend is to avoid viruses from kisses and handshakes and now embrace the ability to simply go viral. Candidates need to, to be in a place where they know they can reach potential voters. Billionaire Michael Bloomberg is shaking up the campaign, taking a page from the book of Donald Trump. Problem solver, Mike Bloomberg will raise... Using deep pockets and a small screen to lure in a lucrative crowd. They're trying to find their place, and if that candidate, whomever it is, finds a way to get to them and it, uh, they understand that message that it's not pandering, it'll work. To speak to a younger audience, the 78-year-old has to think like one. So cue the influencers. Bloomberg hired the biggest names in the meme business to plaster the pages of heavily followed social media accounts. Now, if you're not sure what a meme is, maybe get Karen to explain it to you. But don't get overly emotional if you don't understand. These memes, however, made Bloomberg look out of touch, joking about how to make him look more in touch. And that could backfire with the group that coined a certain meme. In politics, there are plenty of people that don't understand how to use social media if they run the risk of using it the wrong way and alienating a whole group. How these candidates approach social media is also important. Elizabeth Warren earned her likes by spending hundreds of hours taking selfies. Michael Bloomberg, well, so far he's spent more than $300 million of his own cash, most of it to make it impossible to flip through channels without seeing his name. I have taken over all 78 channels, and you won't see any of your favorite shows again until you give in. Now he's paying even more to put his campaign in the palms of people's hands. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.